competitors. Motorbiking can succeed as an international sport in Barbados. The draw is that any and everybody can participate. Any and everybody. Any age, any sphere, any, any across cultures, across the board. Okay, we have a cross country event which is multiple laps. Um, that's where multiple people start off the course at the same time and battle for first, second, and third. It's more an endurance event. Then you have the four cross. Four cross is four guys battling for first position. Right, yes, second place and third place is also good, but it's basically four men battling for first position. So that's four cross. Then you have the time trial. Time trial is, is one man against the clock. So he's on the course by himself, sprinting against the clock. The time trial is fine and good. You can hold your own lines, create your own lines. You can utilize the course as you feel true, as you choose. The four cross, on the other hand, you have to hold your line because you have four people that you're riding with. Or I should say three people that you're riding with, including yourself. So you have to basically hold your own line, beat the jumps, beat the berms, get into the whole shots first or as fast as possible and then once you could line up with the, the finish the rest is history so basically that is it cross country multiple laps first second and third four cross the most exciting four men off the line battling for first position time trial you against the clock you call this lancaster right some people call it greenwich because the village just below it's called Greenwich, but basically this is Royal Westmoreland's land, Lancaster, right? So basically speaking, we just call it Royal Westmoreland's Trail, or we call it the Royal Trail. So in terms of how long it took us to prepare this, um, last year was the first that we started to work on it, and it took us a period of about about four months. Um, Bobcats, manual labor, you name it, the full works, uh, spending weeks out here, you know doing every single thing under the sun well under the moon as well too because we did some nights out here working as well with the bobcat but basically every single thing under the sun we basically had to do right by hand and then actually bring in the bobcat to then cut certain areas but majority of the work was done by hand the hoes the collins or the cutlass as some of us know it the saws the hand saws you know so basically it was more manual labor than really engine labor. The length of the trap is roughly over 2.5 miles. Basically, it's a bit lower, longer than last year. Um, it was grueling last year and we decided, well, we want to get the guys in competition for the international meet. So we decided we can add on some variations to it to make it a bit more longer. So basically speaking, the course is a very, very exciting course. You have declines, you have descents, you have your little berm, you have your little drop off. You have a little technical session that will cause the bat wheel to get out of hand. You have the drop, the steep, steep drop off sessions where that you have to break the bike if you choose to break it right, right down to a crawl and then right. So basically, cross country course is a very, very exciting course. Um, getting the guys out in terms of in groups, getting them out so that we could get to know who the the, the, uh, the cyclists are and prepare them and train them for the international meet. Um, the international meet is going to be more challenging because you can have people from the outside now coming in to compete on our soil. So at the end of the day, the young ones is the perfect, the perfect ones to train. So once they can get into this arena now, and then we can push them and mold them, get them ready for international, that is the way to go. Prepare them for maybe S Games, you never know.